Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of the Ecostructure Machine Expert Training. I'm your host, Leandro Mada, and in this video, what we're going to see is the flow control features that we have in the software. So, let's go to the presentation. So, the flow control is a feature that we have in the software that allows us to track the execution of the code or see in which part the PLC is executing the code. Okay. In order to enable this, what we need to do, let me just change the visualization, is to go to debug and then select this double flow control mode. Okay. So um I have tested this and if it's if you are used to work with a structured test, I believe it's gonna be good just to see the execution of the code. It's nice. If you're using ladder, even if you have this possibility to use it, uh, the ladder is already uh, a visual code, okay? It's not text. So you can see where the code is being executed. Uh, but for me, I believe it's more useful in a structured test, but you can use ladder also. So one thing that you can do is to um, click on the variables that we saw in the previous video, how you can write or force. You cannot do that in this way. What you need to do is to go to the uh, local variables that you have in the BUU or on the, the GBL in order to change that and go again to the debug and then perform the write. So once you're trying to click in this flow control, uh, mode what you what is happening is that you will see this message it's just a confirmation to change the mode uh, the thing that you must be aware is that it requires additional resources so you have this message over here okay so in order to see this the flow control what we're going to do is to see the same code that we have in the previous video and see the behavior so if we open the application okay i'm going to connect with the controller so if i try to force here you can see that i can do whatever i want but i'm going to select the debug toggle flow control mode so if you select this this is the message that you see confirmation read this yes okay so i have this view as you can see it changed and it shows where the program is uh, is, is is having the execution of the code so here you can see the if and this if okay are being executed that's why you see this message in green and the other ones that are not executed are in in white okay so if you try to click to change you have this value but if you want to change it just need to go over here okay and then debug right values as we saw in the past okay here you only execute one time because I force in here I write in the value to one and then here I write in the false value okay so in order to really see this behavior let's make a few modifications so i'm going to comment this part and i'm going to create another variable here condition two condition two just to show you how it is the behavior okay login so you see here that you cannot really see the execution of the code so you know that you are reading the code and uh, okay this is false it's not executing but if you want more visual aid what you can do is to throttle this control mode yes you can see that the only execution is the comparison of the if so if i force this one not force write the value the bar write value you can see now this line is in green because it's executing. Now, if I put this one to true, you will see that that also will be in green. And there we go. 
I put everything false. There we go. Okay. So now what I want to do is to show you also in ladder how it looks like. So I have this code that we're going to cover that later in this module for um, debugging. So I'm going to call this ladder just for you to see the behavior. Login. Okay. So now you can see here that if you know ladder, you know that everything goes from top to bottom, from left to right. It's like a um, electrical wiring. So you can see here that you have uh, the execution on everything. But if you want additional aid in this, you just need to toggle this. Yes. And you can see here that this one is being executed and this part isn't. Okay. Just that it's more additional information and if you want to go back to the original mode of the program we just need to go to the bug and toggle this again there we go okay so what we have seen this here is that you can have additional help in reading the code and try to make a debugging in case uh, the code behavior is not the one that you have expected. Okay, so thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you on the next one.